We were going to Boswell's turf now, his family estate, to where he's buried, the place he loved and hated, Boswell's home. Sweet elevation of the charming petticoat. Looking through my life. I still feel that connection with him for whatever reason, and I respect for him as a writer, as someone who was, you know, at his best, tuned into the world around him and able to capture some of it. How did you feel about that wandering around the actual house? I was really surprised because I was actually uh, quite emotional, bizarrely, when I went to the study, even though it's not as Boswell would have had it, because clearly they've done it up. And as a, a gentleman from Ayrshire Museums was explaining, it was a ruin until they restored it. So it's not as it was when it, his day, but I think when I went in and I saw all the prints of the people he knew, Johnson, Sheridan, you know, all, all the people that I've read about. I don't know, it was quite, quite an impact, actually. I feel a bit silly saying that. Well, how did it impact, though? I just felt very intimate all of a sudden with him. You know, I've read, I mean, you read his stuff and you feel intimate with him because he is so explicit in so many ways, but just being in that same place as him where a lot of his writing happened and... I don't know, I think it's probably voodoo thinking by me, but it's like you know when we were saying at Red Road and how you know there's a certain just a certain benefit of being in a place and being able to instinctively respond to it as well as you know, sort of intellectually. I think it's a bit like that. Finally, after all the places we've been, I can merely say that I was somewhere that he je definitely was. And I don't know, I've got a wee shiver. <laughs>